In this video, I'm going to be working on the aileron actuation. The aileron actuation is basically what allows you, when you move the control stick, to move the ailerons. So your control stick is connected to a rod, which is connected to some kind of hinge, which is connected to another rod, connected to another hinge, and so on and so forth, until through these series of rods, uh, you're able to move the control stick, make the ailerons wiggle up and down, and you can bank left or right. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Essentially, it's going to be consisting of lots of different rods, like this one. I had to cut it out from a longer piece. Um, I had two, a big long black piece of metal like this. Basically, you have to cut this in half to make some rods. There's also some really long rod like this one, which runs the length of almost the entire wing. So I'm going to be uh, basically hooking these things up to bearings at the end, um, putting them, bolting them, or riveting them into hinges, or whatever these are called, uh, like this. And so there's a lot of that. Anyway, uh, mostly what this is going to consist of is me drilling holes into these rods so I can put, uh, uh, through the things that connect them, I can either put bolts or rivets in it. Um, I found that sometimes, you know, your drill wants to slip off of a round surface. So something like a drill guide like this, which has a V-shape on it, um, is helpful. Um, so I'm basically going to be drilling holes in these things, deburring it. Uh, I'm going to prime the insides. A lot of these are steel parts, but some of them are aluminum. Either way, I'm going to clean out the insides, pour some self-etching primer into the rods like this, uh, give it a good shake, let it dry, maybe do it twice, uh, and then assemble the whole thing. Uh, I am going to have to prime the inside of these parts. Some of the parts I'm also going to prime on the outside like these, uh, this, or the actual, the, uh, the long rod that goes down the bulk runs almost the length of the wing, and I'll be doing that as some axle primer. Um, anyway, part of it, the uh, plans also call for you to put, I gotta deburr the insides of these, um, kind of make this thing right here about five eighths of an inch or five sixteenths of an inch offset a little bit. So the book has you putting on, on a spacer block, which I'm sure you can make out of wood and it'll work just fine. But I figured, why go the cheap, easy route when I can go the expensive route? So I went and bought from Amazon, it was like 30 bucks or so, this set of spacer blocks, which I guess woodworkers use a lot. Uh, and it comes with a 5 sixteenths block that I can put this thing on. So that's what I'm gonna do there. Um, probably should have just made it out of wood, but I'm sure I'll use these a lot. Uh, anyway, so that's it. That's what this video is gonna be about. Um, so. I'm going to get to it.
just like that, I am finished making the aileron actuation stuff for my airplane. Well, the part that goes in the wings anyway. So basically, when I move the stick to the left and the right, it's going to kind of go through some rods in the fuselage and turn this thing right here. That is in turn going to push this big long, long torque tube in the wing back and forth like this. And at the end of that, it's gonna push this thing, move it kind of up and down, or I guess forward to back, and that's gonna make the ailerons wiggle up and down. So that's basically it. Uh, uh, I also realized that I carefully torqued the bolts on this to spec and then realized I'm gonna to have to take this apart to actually put it on the wings. Still, it was good practice. Uh, regardless, I'm now finished with this small portion of the build, and uh, that's it for this video.